Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sew gathers. Gathers can be used in a lot of different garments. And today I'm using them to add a skirt onto my Mary tank top pattern. So I'm doing a little hack to this pattern to add a, to make it into a dress by adding a long skirt. You could also just add a short little peplum. So gathers are a really great way to hack a top into a dress, but they're also used as design elements in a lot of patterns. They can be used in sleeves or in cuffs. So I'm gonna be showing you all my tips for how to sew them. I am doing the traditional way of using a basting stitch to gather them up, and I'm gonna give you all my best tips. Let's get started. All right, so I'm attaching the top of my skirt to a bodice and I wanna gather the top edge of the skirt to fit. I'm going to do that with a basting stitch. So I have set my machine to a straight stitch with a 4.3 length, really anywhere from a four to a five millimeter length will work. And you, what you wanna do is make sure that you have really long tails or fairly long tails, maybe about five inches for your bobbin thread and your top thread. So you might need to grab those pieces of thread and pull them out so you have a nice long tail. And with a skirt like this, where I already have my side seams assembled, I don't like to stitch the basting through the side seam. So I'm gonna start just really close to that side seam, stitch to the other side seam, and then do the same for the front. So I'm going to start out by stitching a line of basting three eighths of an inch from the raw edge. So I'm just going to pull my long tails over here and just start stitching. Okay, so I got to the end right before that side seam. I'm going to lift my needle, then lift my presser foot and pinch the fabric and pull it out and I'm going to cut these tail threads about five inches. So I'll go ahead and do that for the front of the skirt and then I'm going to come back and do a second line of basting and this line of basting I'm going to do a little bit more than five eighths of an inch. So for this skirt my seam allowance is five eighths of an inch and I want to, um, to sew these basting lines a little bit less and a little bit more than five eighths. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. This marking is for five eighths. So I'm gonna do a little bit more than that. Do it the same as I did for our three eighths of an inch line. So let me pull these threads a little longer. Okay, they're over here to the side. I have my others over to the side. I wanna make sure that I don't get them tangled. And then it's handy just to hold that thread down. And then you just stitch all the way to the other side seam. Okay, pull these out and again, cut it about five inches. So here are my two lines of basting. I'm gonna go and do that same thing to the front. So I have my bodice and my skirt, and depending on the kind of fabric you have, you might wanna go ahead and finish the raw edge. Um, I'm gonna finish my raw edges together after I attach the skirt to the bodice. But if yours frays a lot and you're not worried about bulk, then go ahead and finish them now. So the first thing we wanna do is mark our center points. And my bodice has a center back seam, so that marks that center point. And then I would just wanna mark the center point of the front bodice, and I'm gonna do that with a pin. So I just fold it in half, match my side seams, and then at this fold, I will put a pin. Okay, then I wanna mark the center points for my skirt. So we're gonna do the same thing. Put these side seams together. That's where we have all these threads kind of making a mess, but they're there to help us. Okay, so hold that side seam together, then fold this in half and you find that center point and put a pin right there. Then we do the same for the other side of the skirt. 
And we want to be really careful to notice which is the front of our skirt and which is the back and make sure we get that matched up with our bodice correctly. So I'm going to put my bodice right side out and put it inside my skirt. And I know this is such a big jumble of fabric, it's kind of hard to see everything, but kind of here's my skirt. Here are my side seams and this is the front of my skirt. So let's find the front of my bodice. That'll be the one pin in here. And I'm going to match those together. So I'll just take out one pin and put the other one in its place. And then you can go over to one of the side seams. And here I have my side seams pressed forwards. And you just want to line up, kind of try to keep all those threads clear. Um, and by that, I mean, you want to keep all your threads accessible. So kind of pull them up towards the top of the skirt. And then I'm just going to put a pin in here. And I'm not going to pin down my skirt side seam because I want to have access to those threads. So we'll go and put center backs together. And then this other side seam together. So just pull all my threads. I'm not pulling them, I'm just moving them to the top. We're gonna to pull them soon. So right now we have everything flat. So we're just lining up the side seams and the centers so that we can be sure that we get a pretty even distribution of our gathers. So you just go one quarter at a time. So right here, I'm going to find my threads and I'm gonna gather this section right here. So this part's big, this part's smaller. We're gonna pull these threads and make them match. And if you wanna get even more exact, you could find the center point of this section and this section, um, kind of do the eighth points around and you'll be even more evenly distributed. So that might help you if you have problems um, getting things evenly distributed. So I'm just pulling these basting threads and then scooting the fabric down. And I think my skirt is almost twice the length of my bodice, so it's really going to gather quite a bit. So you can see I kind of have it bunched up here, here, and here, and I just need to distribute those out. So you just push them along. I think on this skirt it probably would help to have the quarter point <laughs> marked. And if they're a little bit uneven, like no one's even going to notice. So that's pretty good. When you're when you feel like it's pr getting pretty close, you can start putting pins in. And if you're working with a really heavy fabric, you might have a hard time pulling the basting threads a really long distance. Um, so you can even see here, that this is our lightweight fabric, so it gathers really well. But right here, my top thread is not pulled as tight as the bottom thread. So what you can do is get a pin and just gently pull the thread and gather it from the middle. So you can do that anywhere you need a little bit extra gather. So after you get some pins in there, you can kind of evaluate and look and see if they're evenly spread out. So I can see here, there's not a lot of gather, but there's a lot over here and here. So I need to do a little bit of futzing and just moving these gathers. So you just slide your fabric over those tight basting stitches. And that's looking better. I'm going to do the same over here. So that's looking pretty good. And I like to try to get gathers all the way to the end too. And you might find that you need a lot of pins to hold everything. Um, just do whatever you need to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of the skirt and the bodice and then head over to the sewing machine.
Okay, I have my skirt all pinned to my bodice, evenly distributed, and now I'm going to baste the skirt to the bodice. And you might want to skip the basting and just go right to stitching, but I found over the years that it's really worth it to baste it first. Go slowly, make sure that everything is um, the way you want it to be, and then stitch it. Because sometimes you'll kind of get a weird wrinkle or something and you'll want to unpick it and redo it and it's much easier to unpick the basting stitches. So I'm going to stitch with my bodice side up and just try to keep my skirt kind of, I want to try to keep my skirt pulled down so that I don't get wrinkles like this. That's something that would often happen to me is too many gathers. Um, things in the gathering that you don't want there. So let's just slide this under here. And again, I'm using a 5 8 7 inch seam allowance. And I'm just going to baste all the way around. I'm going to try to remove my pins as I go. But since it's basting, I feel like it's not too dangerous. Okay, after you get it all basted, you want to go around and make sure that everything looks good, that you don't have any wrinkles you don't want. You want to double check that your seam allowances are flat and going the way that you want them to go. I think this one is this one's going the wrong way, so I need to unpick this. So I like to try to get my gathers like as close to the seam allowance as possible, um, which is why I don't baste through that seam allowance because then it's hard to pull the threads. So just kind of fixing a little bit of it. Um, it's even helpful to turn it right side out and take a look. See, that's all looking pretty good. So exciting. Okay, I think I... Oops, okay, here, here's one little spot where I caught the skirt. So I want to unpick this. Now, alternately, you could also baste it in with the gather side up, and I kind of go back and forth on which I prefer. Um, I think it's a little bit faster. Well, I don't know which one is faster. You're less likely to have um, your skirt caught in the stitching if you stitch with the gather side up, but I sometimes think it's faster to stitch with the gather side down. Um, so that's just up to you. You can find what works better for you. Okay, I've switched my machine back to a regular length stitch and I'm going to stitch the skirt on. And I'm gonna do it with the gather side up now. Again, do what works for you. I do like the control that I have um, to make sure the skirt doesn't get caught where it shouldn't be. And now that we have it basted, we have all of those gathers really in control. So as you approach the point where you started, you'll just stitch right over that line again and then do a couple back stitches. Then you cut your threads and I'm gonna use my serger to finish this raw edge. And then the only basting stitch that I remove is this bottom line of basting stitches that was outside the seam allowance because the rest you're not gonna see. Um, you can remove it if you want to, but it's really not necessary. And then after I finish this edge, I like to gently press the seam allowance toward the skirt because it kind of creates a little bit more fullness in that gathered skirt. But you can press it up if you want to. The choice is yours. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you want to learn more about sewing this hack or about this sewing pattern, I will put links to that down in the show notes. And if you want to support this channel and all the free content, you can buy me a coffee or visit the pattern shop. Links are down below. 
And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button down below. Happy sewing.